without ending up with a bunch of knives in our backs that where we stabbed each other in the back. So you, they set out to do these these amendments, and you know, they went from everything. Okay, well, this large entity of uh, this large body of all of us cannot stop any uh, one of us or group of us from uh, speaking our mind, from saying what's on our mind. Um, so you have freedom of speech and. Um, we be, we come from different places, and we've we've taken different turns as, as white people. So uh, I don't believe the same thing about Jesus that you believe. So I want to make sure that you don't impose your version of Jesus or the Virgin Mary or whoever on me. So of course we have. Um, uh, the freedom of religion is put in there. I'm able to say what I want and, and do what I want and and, um, and train my uh, slaves in the way that I want to train them as far as uh, who white people are and where white people came from. And so uh, you, the freedom of religion, of course, is put in there. Um, the freedom of assembly, if I have a problem, with you or the, in, the larger entity or another uh, uh, colony, then I should be able to get my people together and we should be able to have a town meeting and talk about what we're going to do about it. You know, so you have the freedom of assembly and all these different things. But of course, these things were put in because of the dishonor that was going on at the time. Then you have the, the years of and decades of the slave trade itself, where whites were basically barbaric. And so you had the uh, parents and grandparents that were had basically taken over the top half of the continent, and the children and grandchildren who had been relegated to the southern half. And the children and grandchildren were, um, of course, extremely barbaric and the parents and grandparents were more um, back room or uh, in the closet barbaric. So of course you still had that, uh, that this mistrust and, and dishonor between the children and grandchildren and the, the grandparents and parents about how to control this black uh, population and, and keep the the resources flowing. So, you know, there's a lot of different aspects to this uh, returning honor to America. And instead of getting upset with the whole idea of, you know, this white guy having the rally on the Lincoln Monument, blacks really need to start using this as a true discussion board or true a campaign board about when this continent had honor and the fact that there has not been honor on the continent since whites arrived. And so if you're talking about restoring honor to America, you would have to actually go back before white people got here. And that's a discussion that is long overdue in the black community. And they definitely need to, to start using this time a little bit more wisely. And of course, we're going to be doing a series of shows for you to break this down. So today's show was kind of an introduction, an opening to give you a little background as to why they got upset about this rally why they shouldn't have been upset about this rally, what they should be focusing on, and uh, or how to um, go from here and really make this opportunity for um, fixing some things in the black community that black people misunderstand. So the next show we're going to uh, break down a little bit more of the Constitution um, and the amendments. and find out really, really what it would take to restore honor to America. 
the America that was here before white people got here. And we want to thank you for listening in on the show, and we'll see you next time. All about the people.